So welcome back to another workout. So today is actually the last day in our series, the last day that I'll be gone. I'll see you live in person on video tomorrow, but today is arm day. So get ready, get some dumbbell options ready. You're definitely gonna need a lighter set and a heavier set as we move through different <clears throat> style arm exercises. Today is gonna be basically just a giant circuit. Oh, make sure you're warmed up. So if you haven't warmed up yet, pause the video, please take at least 10 minutes to warm up, especially because we're doing a lot of shoulders today. Your shoulders are very easily injured because of all the small little rotator cuff muscles that wrap through and around the shoulder. Okay, that being said, if you are warmed up and ready to go, we're gonna do a giant circuit. Every other move, we're gonna come back to an overhead press or a bent over row. So classic military style overhead press. You're definitely gonna want a medium weight dumbbell um, for that exercise and then or a bent over row that'll be every other move will be one of the two so we're going to take a nice heavy weight heavy set of dumbbells for a neutral grip bent over row okay so if you're ready our first move we're going to start with push-ups so i'm going to come down to the floor feel free to modify to go on those knees, I would rather see form over pride where you're trying to still do it from your toes, but you can only do this. That's not a push up. You want to keep your hips forward, go into the modified position and try to get that full range of motion, chest as close to the ground as possible, okay? You can also elevate these on a couch or a table or a countertop. So you're still working the right muscles, the chest muscles, and getting that full range of motion, that's more important. Form over everything here. You don't wanna just cheat yourself and waste your time. <laughs> so that being said, choose which option is best for you. First round through is gonna be 45 seconds. Here we go, three, two, and go. As always, keeping that core nice and tight. <laughs> Exhale as you press away from the floor. In a classic push up, elbows track back at 45 degrees. 20 seconds. 15. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Second move, we're going to go to that overhead press. So grab your weights. I'm going to use 12s because I think we're going to get many rounds of overhead press in. So you don't want to go too heavy or start off heavy and just have your other options, your lighter weights nearby. Three, two, and go. All the way up. Classic military press. So hands are facing away from you. Wide press, elbows coming wide, all the way from the shoulders, straight overhead extension. Good work, guys. Nice job, almost there. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two, and rest, great job. Set those aside, grab a light set of weights. We're gonna do jumping jack, overhead punch, overhead press. Here we go. I'm gonna use lighter weights. <laughs> My arms are already feeling it. Feel free to use one dumbbell and push straight up. If you don't have super light weights, I'm gonna use two pounds. So if you need to use like a five pound weight, just one, just press it laterally overhead. Three, two, and go. <clears throat> nice and light on the toes, pulling the navel to the spine. Oh, 
20 seconds. Good work, guys. 10. Five, four, three, two, rest. Great job. Grab your heavier weights. We're gonna do bent over row. Neutral grip, nice flat back. Three, two, and go. Cool, squeeze the elbows right by your sides. Good work. Halfway there. Pause at the top. Don't rush this one. And because we're keeping that bent over position, that flat back, keep pulling that belly button to the spine. Five, four, three, two, and rest, great job. Set those down. Grab a set of weights for Arnold Press. Arnold Press, hands facing your face. Elbows lifted. Three, two, and go. Like this. Elbows stay shoulder height the whole time. Down, bring it in, open. Good work, good work. After this, we go back to a classic overhead press. I told you, you don't wanna to go too heavy on the shoulders today, because we're doing a lot of them. <laughs> good work, good work. 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, rest. Good, just set those down. Give your shoulders a little rest. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go to our classic military press. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Full range of motion. Protect that lower back. So you can do this seated or kneeling or standing, totally up to you. But I, what I want you to think about is your lower back. Don't sway or arch through that lower back. Pull the belly button toward the spine. After this, we're gonna go dumbbell American overhead swing. So that's where we stack that dumbbell straight overhead, hands over shoulders in the swing. Woo, 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, and rest. Good job, guys. All right, so you're gonna need a heavier dumbbell for this overhead swing. Three, two, and go. So we swing it back, hands stack straight over the shoulders. We're using lots of core to do a hard stop there at the top. Still a classic swing where you're hinging forward, using your glutes to thrust that dumbbell up. Woo! Feel those shoulders for sure. 20 seconds. And we go to our bent over row. Thanks for it, guys. Five. Four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Set that down. Grab your bent over row weights. Just like before, neutral grip. Three, two, and go. Use the breath. Exhaling as you pull. Good work. Nice job. 
out doing stuff. 20 seconds. Dumbbells come all the way up to the belly button. Then release. Drive those elbows back. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Elbows by your sides. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Alternating overhead snatch. You should usually be able to pretty, go pretty heavy here because we're using the legs and the core. Three, two, and go. All the way up. Hand stacks over your shoulder. Good. Using the legs and we're sticking the butt back. Back's nice and flat. So we're not hurting the back. We're protecting that lower back. 15. Then we go to our overhead press. 10. Five. Two. And rest. Good job. Overhead press. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Classic military press. Then we're gonna give our shoulders a rest after this. We're gonna go to bicep curls. Gonna work 20 seconds, slow and steady. Ten seconds. Five. And rest. Great job. Bicep curls. Grab a medium set of weights for bicep curls. Classic bicep curls. Three, two, and go. Rotate up. And then hands face each other. Neutral grip when you start and when you lower. Up. Curl to the ceiling. Lower. Good work, guys. After this, we go back to our bent over row. Nice job, nice job. 15 seconds. Slow and steady. Trying to go as heavy as you can with that weight. For the allotted time, we're going for 45 seconds. Three, two, and rest. Good job, bend over row. Three, two, and go. Next up is a tricep extension, overhead tricep extension. Nope, not, not true. A tricep extension, tricep kickback. Good work, slow and steady, squeeze. Don't rush these, this is a strength day. This is our strength moves. <sighs> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Great job. Okay, so you're gonna need a lighter set of weights for kick back, so we're hinging over, squeezing through the triceps. Four, Three, two, and go. So keeping that flat back position, belly button pulling up and in, squeezing through the backs of the arms. After this, we go back to our overhead press. Good work. Working hard, cruising right along. 
15. Last 10. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Shake those arms out. Grab your dumbbells for overhead press. Five, two, here we go. Up. Good work, good work. Woo! Next, we'll probably keep the same weight, like a medium set of weights for hammer curl to overhead press. So that's your neutral grip curl, bringing it up to the shoulders, then we press. That's our next move. 10 seconds here. Shoulders on fire. Five. Four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Set those arms down or set those dumbbells down just to give your arms a break. Less than 10 for hammer curl. Press. Four, three, two, and go. Neutral grip, straight up. So the whole time we're keeping that neutral grip. Hands are facing each other. Shoulders all the way up. Remember, especially if you're standing. Protect that lower back, tuck the pelvis underneath the shoulders, pull the navel to spine. You want an active lower belly, even when you're just standing, but especially whenever we're putting weight overhead. Protect that lumbar spine. 10 seconds, then we go to our bent over row. And we've got one more move in our circuit. You guys are crushing it. Good work and rest. Good job. Bent over row. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. Put it. Good work, guys. Squeeze. Last move is our overhead tricep extension. So you could use one heavy or a set of two lighter weights. Fifteen. Squeeze, don't lose that form. Ten. Five. And rest. Great job. Overhead tricep extension. One heavy or two lighter weights. Keep those lighter weights kissing together in contact with each other the whole time if you're using two, two weights. Go for it. And we know elbows are facing forward so they're not splaying out. Keep them nice and tight by the head. So we're targeting the triceps. We're not working on the shoulders here. And then like a broken record, I'll say it again. <laughs> Protect that spine, pull the navel to the spine, especially when we have weight overhead. It's always worth mentioning again, it's always a good reminder because your body will always take the path of least resistance if you're not being conscious about it, if you're not thinking about it. Three, two, and rest, beautiful job, going back to the top. Shorter rounds this time, we're just gonna see how far we can get. We've got about seven or eight more minutes. So we're gonna shorten the rounds, see how far we can get in that giant circuit. So we started with push-ups. here we go. Woo, feeling good, are your arms like jello yet? <laughs> Three, two, and go. Thirty second rounds this time. This should go fast. <laughs> Don't lose that form though. <sighs> Full range of motion. Good 
four, three, two, rest. Great job, overhead press. Here we go, 30 seconds. Two, and go. Yeah, shoulders are definitely feeling it. Use that breath. After this, we've got that jumping jack overhead punch. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Grab a lighter set of weights, jumping jacks. Three, two, and go. Straight up. And you don't even have to use weights for this. Especially if your shoulders are feeling funky or if they're just feeling super fatigued by now. Just punch straight up without weight. Good work, good work. Then we go to our bent over row. Five, four, three, two. Rest. Good job, guys. Nice job, nice job. We might make it through the whole thing. We're gonna be close. <laughs> Yay, five, four, three, two, and rest, good job. Arnold press. Here we go, three, two, and go. Hands face you, elbows to your shoulder height. You know I'm gonna say it. Check that alignment in the hips, pelvis, lower back area. Are you sticking your butt out? Are you swaying or arching through the lower back? That's a no-no. Pull that belly button to the spine. Three, two, and rest. Good job, set those weights down just for a second. Cause then we go right back to an overhead press. Straight up, classic overhead press. Three, two, and go. All the way up. Good work, good work. Nice job. 10 seconds here, then we're gonna stand. And we do our overhead American style dumbbell swings. Two and rest. Great job. So grab a heavier weight for that. One dumbbell held between both hands. Nice wide stance, standing hip thrust. Remember, it's not a squat, it's not a front raise with your arms. Your hands are just there to guide it. We're using our legs and our core for momentum to get that weight up. Three, two, and go. Back, hard stop at the top by pulling that belly button towards the spine. Good work. After this, we go back to our bent over row. Woo, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Bent over row. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Please. Shoulder blades together. Pull those elbows in nice and tight.
15. Then we go to our single arm overhead snatch, alternating single arm snatch. That is also a power move where we use the legs and the core. Three, two, and rest. Great job, guys. Grab your overhead snatch weight. Three, two, and go. After this, we go back to our classic overhead press. You guessed it. Ten seconds. And then we go to bicep curls. <laughs> Three, two, last one. Great job. All right. Bicep curls. Let's give those shoulders a rest. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, and go. Classic bicep curls all the way up. Lower down by your sides. So sometimes I'll see people don't extend their arms fully by your sides, but please, please do try to avoid that. Some people just do this. That's just the top half curl. You're only getting half the muscle. You wanna go all the way down from dead straight. That's the hardest part of the movement, that first little inch. Don't cheat yourself. Full range of motion. Last three, two, and rest. Great job. Bend over row. Three, two, and go. Squeeze. Ten seconds. And we've got our tricep kickbacks. Three, two, and rest. Great job. Grab your lighter weights for tricep kickbacks. We are almost done, guys. Home stretch. Three, two, and go. Squeeze through the backs of the arms. Squeeze. Pull that belly button up and in. Wrap those corset muscles. You want to feel like your hip bones are creeping together, cinching together. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Um, overhead press. Overhead press. Here we go. Three, two, and go. I'm kneeling so my head doesn't get cut off, so I don't have to keep moving the camera <laughs> up and down from when I'm on the floor to when I'm standing. The camera needs to be back like just a couple of inches, and then I would be able to get the whole shot. How nice would that be? <laughs> but that's okay. Kneeling is fine for these. Woo! Shoulders. Holy shoulders. I feel ya. Right there with you guys. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Now we're coming back to our hammer curl press. So this is neutral grip. All the way up, all the way down. Hands face each other. Two, and go. Nice and slow and controlled. Don't rush these. Don't rush a strength day. I'd rather have you push yourself in the weight and have to drop down in the weight or stop altogether because it's too heavy because you can't do any more reps. Then go too light and just fly through it. Not doing yourself much service there. Last four, three, two, and rest. Good job. We got through all of it. We're going to get two more moves. Psych. Yeah, try to. Getting excited. We're not done yet. We have two more moves. Bend over row. And then our overhead tricep extension. Then we're done. Three, two, 
and go. Please, good work. Nice job, nice job. Up, get it. Get after it. Last time we do this move. 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Grab your one heavy or two lighter weights for your overhead tricep extension. This is our last 30 seconds. You guys rocked it. That was perfect timing. Three, two, and go. Sometimes I'm a little overzealous when I write these 30-minute workouts. And they either end up being way too long or we just get through what we can get through and we still get a rock and work out in 30 minutes. It's just a lot compacted into one 30 minute session. <laughs> Woo! Full extension. Keep those abs nice and tight. 10 seconds. We got this. Stay strong. Five, four, three, two, and rest great job everyone make sure you take the next 10 minutes to thoroughly stretch that upper body so definitely shoulders this will be triceps and shoulders here this move go across the body across the front of the shoulder get those front and medial deltoids wrap your hands behind your back open up the chest and I'm just giving you a little preview here, but stay in each pose for one minute, okay, at least. So really hold it, just breathe. When you're here for a minute, then just switch your hands, switch the grip, and go back into it for a minute, okay? So you're not super sore. Thank you guys so much for working out with me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.